Welcome to the Bike Breakdown Lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other bike. 100 FM, the bike. And we do it every Friday. Play back your messages you've left during the week at this time. And uh, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Hi, Mike. Uh, a tiny, tiny loophole on that gun thing would be whether it was loaded or not loaded. You know, if, you just, if it wasn't loaded, you could just, you know, just whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? That'd be a tiny, tiny no. loophole. On, on the, I think if it was loaded, that's a tiny, tiny loophole for okay. saving your license. All right. Take care. Thank you. Okay. One, um, he didn't really finish his thought there. <laughs> it was like, because <laughs> if it wasn't loaded, you can, you know. And I'm like, no, I, I don't know. what You, you can't. Hit people you, over the head with it. I know. You still can't bring it on a plane. Uh, no. No. But, I mean, it, it probably would make a difference in how you're charged. I yeah. guess, you know, if, that, it, if it's loaded. Yeah. That goes along the theory of uh, guns don't kill people, bullets kill people. Right, yeah. Can't I, do one without the other. Well, Adam, according to him, there's a tiny, tiny loophole. <laughs> I don't think he said that. I don't, I don't think he said that. It's, it's a tiny one. It's a tiny, tiny loophole to, to save in your license. Yeah. All right, take care. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So he, so he thinks if the gun's not loaded, then you could be able to keep your license. You should be able to keep your license for the gun. It sounds like his point is if the gun's not loaded, why can't you bring it on the plane? Yeah. What's the point? Well, I know that if you if you rob a place with a gun, I believe if it's not loaded, then they charge you less for it. Because it's not attempted murder? But the person you're holding up doesn't know that. Uh, no, they don't. But at the same time, there's no intent because you had no bullets. You right. Know, we're not lawyers. If it's there's a lawyer... Hey, it's Joe, still Joe, scary. Someone from Eden Rafferty, call, call us and and uh, and let us know if we can. <laughs> right. If I rob a place with an unloaded gun, I could just do six months. Is that true? Uh, you mean if somebody does? If somebody does, not me, of right. course. I would never. Right. I would. Uh, I wouldn't take money anyway. I mean, but if you're a chicken joint, look out. <laughs> hey, this is the Trois Rivière guy. Uh, you guys wanted to know how I became a fan of the Lions. It's really simple. Uh, I'm a Habs fan, and I know like with message deleted. All right, thank you for calling. <laughs> That's enough out of you. Wow. Uh, Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. All right. And I've blocked that number. Oh, wow. Mike. Habs fan, huh? Have fun. Have fun with that. Root for Mike's team or no team? Not Root for any team but the Habs. All right? Really? The Canadians? (laughs) I don't think so. Hey, this is the bear from Sturbridge Uh trying to get tickets to uh, the Australian Pink Floyd show in Hanover. (laughs) We love the pipe. Okay. The bear? Remember earlier when I gave out the the breakdown lane number, but then I gave out the number to win Pink Floyd tickets? I said, oh, I shouldn't give those numbers out so close together. Somebody may get confused and try to win tickets on the breakdown lane. Oh, Dude, you, you should have called earlier. I'm sorry. That's my fault, dude. That's my fault. I apologize for that. You, you still don't get the no, tickets. No, everybody's excited about the Super Bowl, but nobody ever celebrates the day after. The Super Bowl <laughs> from all the stuff you ate during the Super Bowl. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a great Super Bowl. I want that to be a real thing. Don't we already have... Isn't Black Friday also Brown Friday? I've heard that. The day after Thanksgiving because you have family over all in one house and Mm -hmm. they're using the toilet. The Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I want that to be a real thing. Not necessarily a day off, but just something that happens. (laughs) I think that's where Brown Friday came from. That's... What do you mean? Instead of Black Friday? The day after Thanksgiving. Didn't, didn't I just say that? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Morning, guys. I just wanted to make a comment about people missing work on Monday after the Super Bowl. Um, my late husband works with a guy who called in sick the Monday after Easter saying, I can't come in. I ate too much ham. So <laughs> he had over hammed. I guess maybe he was feeling bloated from the salt or something too bloated. Hey, Mike. It's- oh, well, hold on a second. <laughs> I want to comment on that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. So that guy couldn't make it into work because uh, after because he ate too much ham on Easter, so he couldn't make it into work. Correct me if I'm wrong. Even Jesus made it back into work after three days, and he was dead. Good no point. days off. Okay, buddy? Yeah, too but- much ham, nothing. Jesus was dead. He came back. He still made it into work. But they didn't have processed food back then. Nah, I don't know. Maybe some of that bread of affliction had some preservatives in it. Not as much you know, sodium back some then Some of the Baba, Baba Ganoush maybe had a little little <laughs> sodium in it. Hey, Mike, it's God. Listen, I, uh, a lot of people are praying to me about Super Bowl picks and who they want to win. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so much of the country is rooting against Taylor Swift. I think I'm just going to make it a tie this year. So 
Everybody wins. Everybody gets along. Uh, go birds. Go birds. Which birds? There's no birds in the Super Bowl. But he just wants free wings. See, even God doesn't care about the Super Bowl. He has, you know. <laughs> when did he call? Go birds. He doesn't even know who's playing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe it's something he's planning for the Super Bowl. Interesting. I don't know. All right. Well, then I'm going to have to watch. Really pay attention if God has something planned for the Super Bowl here. Stop bothering him with your Super Bowl bets. There is uh, your Pike Breakdown Lane. Thanks for leaving messages. We do it every Friday. And uh, we'll never call you back. We'll never sell your information. We just don't know how. You can call.